Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really fast and simple witch's broom decoration decor piece for Halloween and it's just so simple. There's not a whole lot of items that you have to use and we are using all Dollar Tree products. So if you're interested in checking out this DIY, go ahead and stick around for this video. So the first thing that you're going to want to buy from Dollar Tree is one of these plungers. Now you're going to want to take the sticker off. There was some residue left over. So I went ahead and took some sandpaper to it. It was super simple and it didn't take long at all. But you're going to want to paint the stick of the plunger. I chose to paint mine black, which I think personally looks best. But of course you can use whatever color you like. You can see in the background I did paint the rubber part of the plunger because I was thinking that I might keep it on there. Now in the end you'll notice that I totally get rid of that rubber part of the plunger so there's really no need for you to paint that but it was already in the video and then I decided later on that I didn't want it any longer so I just wanted to let you guys know about that. So after the handle of the plunger dried, I went ahead and reattached it back to the rubber part. And this just helped me kind of find the shape of my broom. You can absolutely leave the stick off of the rubber part if you want to, and it would be just fine. But you'll see what I mean by helping it find its shape. It kind of helps the willow pieces like frill out a little bit. So the next thing you're going to need to buy from the Dollar Tree is these willow pieces. Now I had originally gone in thinking that I was going to use the willow that was covered in glitter, but the more I thought about it, the more I did not want glitter going everywhere. And when I was in Dollar Tree, I noticed that they had these a part of the fall collection. And I just figured I would go this route so I could avoid the glitter, but you can definitely use the glitter. So you can see here, I'm just separating the pieces. So I just took like a wire cutter and I cut the main stem off. That way they would pull apart into smaller separate pieces to make them more workable and more manageable. And I could kind of position them a little bit better. Now you guys are about to see a fail right here. I tried to glue them on, but because of what the willow is made out of, it was not sticking. And so I end up kind of brainstorming and I end up using a piece of twine to not only keep them together, but to also use as a second binding agent. So you can see I am wrapping the twine around the stick, adding glue, and then after I add a few willow pieces, I wrap the twine and I'm also adding in glue every once in a while. So I'm, again, using the twine kind of as a binding agent as well as kind of holding it on there. So you're just going to keep doing this step around the bottom of the stick and you can just kind of eyeball it here. I would put some willow pieces in and then I would kind of twirl it around, take a look at it and any place that I thought looked kind of bare, that's where I would add the next piece in. This did take me a little while, but just take your time with it. Make sure everything's sticking good. Again, keep wrapping the twine around to make sure that the structure of the base of that a uh, broom is really sticking good because you don't want it falling apart on you. So now is where you can really see I painted the bottom part to be purple but of course you can totally see it so I do end up taking that out so now you can see is where I got rid of it. I just unscrewed it and I think it looks so much better without it. This is the part where you are just going to start twisting. Thank God this is sped up because it took me forever. So just be prepared. It's going to take you a little while to wrap the twine around there. Also be sure to add some glue every once in a while to make sure that your twine isn't going to unravel on you. And in the end, it's totally going to be worth it. Look how cute this ends up looking. It does stand up completely on its own. Mine has been on my front porch and it's standing up completely on its own. It hasn't blown over or anything like that. 
In my final touch, I'm just taking some black and white baker's twine and I'm gonna add it to the base of my broom. I just do a little bow right here. I don't know what it is about this black and white baker's twine, but it totally reminds me of like something that a witch would have on their broom. So I think it was just that little small touch that added to the cuteness of my little broom at the end here. Okay, you guys, so that is it. It's so simple. I think it turned out so incredibly cute, and it definitely does not look like it was a Dollar Tree product DIY. I think it looks so high quality. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!